Hello there, long time no see. As you can tell now, I'm at the Great Hall of the People, which means my task for this week is to cover the two sessions, which is the country's most important political event of the year. As you can see, first of all, after over two months of postponement, I really want to say finally, finally we are here outside the Great Hall of the People waiting for the kick of the annual session of the National People's Congress. Because you know, I've been covering this political event for some years now. Now, but the sentiment I feel this year is still very, very different from the previous ones. You can still feel this overwhelming excitement among the NPC deputies because the opening of the sessions alone could send a very, very strong signal about the remarkable progress made by the country in fighting the battle to defeat the COVID-19. And if you ask me as a reporter about how do I feel about this year's political season, I think the answer can be found in just one word, which is different. It's not just the time the year is different, the length of the meeting has been shortened as well. Well, usually it lasts about 10 days to two weeks, but this year it has been shortened to just about a week. And there are other things that are different as well. For instance, at the press conferences, the speaker panels and the journalists will be located in two completely different venues, and which is linked by the large video screens. And interviews are just another example. This is how I conducted interviews in the previous years. And this is how I do interview this year. As some may call it, the cloud interviews. Number of journalists uh, has been significantly cut as well. And for those lucky ones who can get the final passes to the Great Hall of People, which is the main venue for the political two sessions, uh, they have to obey very strict rules. For instance, taking the designated bus, wearing a mask, uh, keeping social distancing, and more. You can also feel, I would call, some of the anxiety and concerns among the country's top legislator about some of the very, very pressing issues faced by the country. For instance, on one hand, has there really been lessons learned from the fight against COVID-19 and also how to fix some of the shortcomings that still exist, for instance, in the country's public health system and also more importantly, how to revive the country's economic growth and also create more jobs. Well, even though this year's political season has many of the differences compared with the previous ones, but I think the goal and purpose meeting and also the commitment of passion uh, of serving the people remains exactly the same. So stay tuned on CGTN for more coverage on China's political season of the two sessions.